name is Anna Feldman, and today we're in my studio in Inglewood, Colorado. Um, I am the owner of the company Nanner Boots Pottery, and the name Nanner Boots came from a childhood nickname uh, based off of a combination of nicknames from my father and from my sisters. Um, so there were all sorts of different combinations of that name growing up, from Nana Boots to Nanners to all sorts of different versions. Um, but the end product was Nanner Boots, uh, just to represent, you know, my family and growing up, and you know, having such a great support system here in Colorado. I began pottery when I was in college in at CSU in my undergrad. Um, I, it was quite a journey to get to pottery. Uh, I started out in graphic design, then I moved to metalsmithing, and then that's when I found pottery. And really once I started making things in clay, there was just no turning back for me. I was really just addicted to it um, and just playing with mud and the whole process uh, and just really all of the different opportunities that you can uh, you know, get into with pottery. And really you can make anything out of clay and that is just so inspirational to me. Right out of college, I I pretty much stopped making anything out of clay for uh, you know probably a couple years. You know I dabbled here and there, but I didn't really know exactly how to fit it back into my life. And so now I'm teaching pottery classes downtown through the Denver Rec Centers, and it's been a really an amazing way to connect with my community and just push my skills as well as helping others learn new skills and you know achieve their dreams and grow and it's been really cool to see how their work has changed as well as my own. One of my favorite things to tell people is to come in with very low expectations and that might sound silly, but sometimes you just gotta fail a couple times and try to have as much fun as you can in that process to end up with something that you actually like. You gotta make some really weird things, just get your hands dirty and see what happens before you really get too attached to anything. Keep experimenting. If you see something that you like, give it a shot. You know, every artist is stealing other ideas and it's really just a combination of things that you see that you like. You have to try and then you're going to combine it in your own unique way. You just have to keep looking around and keep experimenting. 